it has patched a critical bug in its 40 OS and 40 proxy SSO VPN that can be exploited to hijack the equipment. The remote code execution vulnerability tracked as CVE 2023-27997 was spotted and disclosed by Lexfall Security Analyst Charles Fall and Danny Batch. So before we talk about that, why don't we go ahead and learn what an RCE is or a remote code execution is. A remote code execution is a type of security vulnerability that allows attackers to run arbitrary code on a remote machine connecting to it over a public or private networks. Which means that if you have a public facing device like a uh, a forty net, a forty gate, you know, a forty net firewall, which is a forty gate, or a proxy using SSL VPN, you might want to patch that as soon as possible, because attackers can get to it and exploit it with this remote code execution. And a remote code execution is equivalent to a full compromise of the affected system or application, and can result in serious consequences such as data loss service disruption, deployment of ransomware or other malware, and lateral movement of the attacker to other sensitive IT systems. The, and the impact of remote code execution attacks could go from you know, penetration. Attackers can use uh, remote code execution vulnerabilities as their first entry into a network or environment. They can do privilege escalation, sensitive data exposure, denial of service attack, crypto mining, and the worst one of them, which is ransomware attack. Um, the types of remote code execution attacks are injection attack, uh, deserialization attack, and out of band write. So now let's go ahead and go back to Fortinet and see what they're saying. Fortinet has warned the bug looks to have been exploited in the wild already. So attackers are really um, getting access to system with this vulnerability. And the security flow lies within the SSL VPN. So if you have an SSL VPN on any of your public facing um, devices, you want to do this as soon as possible. Um, and if you if, if you have that enabled, you are potentially vulnerable to the attack. That's what they're basically saying. And this is reachable pre-authentication. So they don't need to authenticate on every SSL VPN appliance. And they also were saying that uh, the Fortinet had they have released multiple updates for the 40 OS and 40 proxy to close the SSL VPN hole. And admins um, should get patching as soon as possible before more exploits are deployed. An attacker just needs to be able to reach the equipment to exploit it. That's really bad, um, which is going to disrupt traffic and explore the rest of the corporate network. You don't really want to. You don't want to do that. You want to. Uh, you want to patch as soon as possible. If you cannot, just shut it down until you can do that. Um, and you can find a list of the affected products and, and their updates. I'm going to leave a comment on the description below. Um, and the bug is a heap overflow, and it's rated 9.2 out of 10 in terms of severity. So you need to get on it as soon as, as, soon as possible. And the flow would allow a hostile agent to interfere with the VPN even if the MFA is activated. So multi-factor authenticator uh, authentication is not going to help you. So therefore, you need to get patching as soon as possible, guys, because this is a really bad bug that is being exploited on the wild right now. And, um, you know, I work for a company. I'm a security, I'm a security engineer, and I got, a bug, I, I got a call in the middle of the night um, because uh, we got an email about this um, this bug that was being exploited on the wild, and we needed to patch around 300 firewalls. Um, locally, um, some of them we were able to do it through 40 Manager, um, which is the basically the device that manages um, all uh, like all the firewalls at once. So we were able to just push. Um, about you know 90% of them through 40 manager um, and we just you know we just ran it uh, because we have all those devices that were being exposed and they had SSO VPN on. Um, if you don't have SSO VPN on 
you do not need to, uh, you know, you, you don't need to do it as soon as possible, but you should do it if you are in the future are going to enable this feature. And also, if you cannot, you know, if you cannot do the upgrade, you can just turn off SSL VPN and, and you should be fine. At least that's what Fortinet is saying. But if I'm new, um, I'm still doing the upgrade, even if I don't have the SSL VPN on, because you don't, you know, it's, it's too early. Um, they're only saying that it is on the SSL VPN appliances, but you never know. And you do want to be safe out there because you don't want to get any ransomware. You don't, you don't, you don't want any attackers on your network um, because uh, you will get infected. You would think that, uh, they, like even if you're a small company, attackers, hackers, they don't really care if you're big or small. If they see a hole, they're gonna, they're gonna get in that hole and they are going to get into your company. Um, even if they can just get into your company to get to another one, um, you know, if you're not the main goal, but still, just go ahead and do the patch as soon as possible. Mom. 